Hi everyone, welcome to another episode. In this one, we're going to be reacting to Ted Lasso episode 6 called Two Aces. Uh, recap. We won our first match. We, by we, I say. <laughs> Richmond. Richmond, yeah, AFC Richmond. They won their first their first match, but it didn't. It, come, it came at a bit of a cost because um, James scored two goals and he could see that He's just being a dick. He's just showboating and everything. So he decides to pull him off after he scored two goals. Mm. Um, and then the team just gracefully just score another goal and, and that was it. Um, and also Ted's family came down. And unfortunately, they kind of, him and his wife decided that they were just going to call it. There's, there's nothing that he can do uh, to kind of salvage that, that marriage. But he realised it. Yeah, and she was like, "It's not it's, you're not quitting anything. It's just yeah, you're letting just, me I can't go. give you what you want." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, Roy and Keely are still kind of flirting, but I think yeah. in the last they're not even flirting. They're not even flirting for heaven's sake. It's just it's just all, it's, it's at an awkward stage at the moment because yeah, Roy doesn't know what to do. Maybe too much of a hard man to attempt to make the first move, but may also be shy at the same time. He doesn't know what he's doing, but. Um, I suppose we'll we'll get that in time. Um, but um, off the back of them, Richmond winning their first game, the team being more together than anything, even though it was uh, the behest of like um, Jamie throwing his toys out of the pram and much. essentially not being yeah. not wanting to be part of the team, insulting Ted and then leaving after he gets benched or subbed off. Um, let's see how that sort of translates to this episode um but yeah ted ted seems fine after that after his family sort of came and left i think and... it's probably the closure that he needed yeah yeah that's, that's true um but also rebecca's pissed off because <laughs> they've now won and uh, her yeah. plan is is not coming to fruition to destroy the, the clan around. yeah they're turning yeah. It around damn it um so let's see what happens in this one um episode six two aces let's check it out morning after uh okay so he doesn't look fine as fine as we thought he did or he's just maybe completing processing yeah turns out that hearing and walking in a town you don't know all too well can be a little tricky <laughs> you know end up getting lost but you know then i got unlost then i got lost again but well, you know, now i'm here oh no he's rambling he's yeah you know, it's a great time now for me to, you know, bury myself in, uh, yeah, in my work. Just take here. it all so, off. Although I'm not crazy. I don't love the word bury. You know what I mean? It's like just got a negative connotation. Oh, he needs a drink. Yeah. Maybe not at work, though. <laughs> it's not his calm collective self that he normally is. Yeah. You know, we, maybe we, you know, start calling each other little pet names, you know? Uh, like, He's a bit wired. He's so wired at the moment. Uh, we just help coach uh, play in practice. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sweetie. Okay. <laughs> He's kind of sweet. You finally won your first match. How's it feel? Well, Sarah, I believe you can outscore your opponent and still lose, just like you can score less than them and win. But last week, we definitely won. What? No. What? Score less than them and win. That's That doesn't make sense. But are you honestly going to keep your best player on the bench? Well, that depends on Jamie. He knows what we need from him. Your decision to bench Jamie Tart was very brave. Thank you. I mean, a master stroke. I don't think we're allowed to talk like that at work anymore. <laughs> City have called, and they've inquired about terminating Jamie's loan. They're going to take his house? No. Jamie's contract is owned by Manchester City, and they in turn loaned him to Richmond for the season. Oh, okay. Oh, they want Jamie back if you are planning to bench him. I'm not playing on that. I said playing too many times. Words lost all its meaning now. Playing. Plan. Oh my god, he can't have a normal conversation. That new kid from Mexico here yet? Oh, he's getting treatment on his knee. Okay, good. What's his name again? Danny Rojas. How's Jamie doing? What? Says he can't practice today. Says he's hurt. Mm-hmm. Sure he is. Relax, Ted. It's just practice. Oh, man. I feel this version of Ted you don't fuck with. You don't, yeah. You miss some practice. We talking about practice. You understand me? Practice. Oh, God, he said the word too many times. So here we are, Jamie. We're talking about practice. Not a game. Not the game. We're talking about practice. Oh, he's, team. he's doing it Teammates. again. How many times has he said it? I don't know. And you can't do it. Because you're hurt. 
right? It's fine by me. I think that's the first time I've heard him raise his voice. Yeah. Said the cone so the other reserves could do a little passing drill. <laughs> oh, we can do Nathan. I really appreciate it. That was the most passive aggressive. Set the cones up. I figure you asked you, mate. Was it talking to you, big man? Colin, set up the cones. Isaac's right, he asked you. You are a second teamer. Yeah, everyone's oh, everyone's hey. sticking up the finger. Oh, Colin, say something, Roy, say something. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Danny what? Rojas. Rojas. Yeah, is he any good? Came here in the summer transfer window, was immediately injured, so no one's really seen him play. Be sure to help Danny get acclimated, all right? First time in this league could be very overwhelming. He's just happy to be back on the pitch. It's like a player version of Ted Lasso. Hello, coaches. Thank you for the opportunity. Good morning, tonight. Gee, oh my God. That's going to slap you Oh, uh, no one needs you, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, and teamwork. Team yeah. yeah. Oh, see that? <laughs> I can't really tell, but it seems like he's very good. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. Rub salt on the wound. Yeah. Oh, Christ. Have you not seen the news yet? Oh, God. What's happened now? Remember that stunning girl, Bex? The one that Rupert left? Oh, the, the one from the gala. Which is actually short for... Rebecca. Oh god. Yep, which is also your name. New Rebecca. Shit. Oh, well, that stinks. Um, the press is calling her Rebecca. And you're uh, old Rebecca. Oh old shit. Old Rebecca. Oh, wow. oh, that's gonna stink. Oh, she's gonna go mental now. Don't worry about it. You've got this. You're good, yeah, but up here, there's a difference between good and great. He's going to hit the bar again. Oh, <laughs> sick. oh sick. The, the thing is, Jamie thinks this is actually a war, but Danny yeah, thinks it, like it's just fun. We're having, just fun. having fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, you missed it. Oh, no. Let's see what Danny does. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it looks like he's better than you. Football is life. No, 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 no. Oh, man, this guy's had way too many skittles for breakfast. <laughs> I mean, Jamie is an ace, mm -hmm. right? You know, whose attitude turned him into a seven of clubs. So then we bring in another fellow to help. Two aces makes sense. For being an ace himself. And so now we got two aces. Title. Makes sense. Uh, it's lovely weather we've been having, don't you think? I love this time of year. I love that he's still reading the book. That's pretty cool. Rebecca's got me in to help with the team's PR. You leave me out of it, though. I'm not one of your show ponies. You wear a number. Trot around while people clap. Ooh, that's it. That's savage. <laughs> oh, no. What the hell? Did he ever do it? This is all my fault. What? Why? I Danny going to the treatment room before training and I didn't say anything. Oh. The treatment room is cursed. Um... Um, I don't believe it. Okay, good. Then me and you, we're going to go look in that room. No. <laughs> Why not? Because. No. It's cursed. <laughs> Everyone believes it's cursed. I need you to gather up the rest of the fellas. Because we got ourselves cursed to reverse. Oh my god. The whole Richmond team's here. What? They're doing a pump. Yeah. Are you a fast fit fan of football? Hundreds of those posters were put up around Richmond on the 18th of November 1914. It said to come to our stadium that day. The war was raging. There was no tryout, just recruiters. They enlisted 400 lads that day. That's a bit messed up. Very few of them came up. That's really messed up, yeah. Damn. Do you know where they went for their physical? Oh, Christ, it's our treatment room, isn't it? Oh, you can't be attributing a war. What you're telling me is we've got 400 ghosts. That's too many ghosts. We cannot fight them all. We're not going to have to fight them, Rashad. <laughs> they're the Ghostbusters. They're the Ghostbusters. Go home tonight. 
find something, an item, something personal, something that you truly value. And I want you to bring it tonight to the clubhouse at midnight. And and gonna we'll burn, it. burn it. You know, like they have that Let ritual. Me fucking do it. The oh, fucking hell, Jesus. <laughs> That's your captain talking right there. Your battler, Jamie. It's really hot. But maybe someday you should stop battling the people that just want to help you. Feel like you want me to come in? Oh God, he's Pavlovian. Have a good night, Jamie. Talk. He was being given to... genuine advice as well. Are you free tonight, Sam? I am very flattered, but oh no, 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 no! It's, it's, it's not for romance. Yeah, bro, that's you asking your boss. <laughs> I really hope you can participate in this ceremony that we're having later tonight. I don't think so. Miss Walton is your team. So you have to be there. It's pulling at the heartstrings. Yay! I can burn the newspaper. You can join. Yeah. I feel like the sprinkler is going to go off in here. You're in a closed room and you're going to burn all this stuff. It's a very good point. My granddad drove me all the way there. And it was freezing and I was terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking nine. Say something. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me this old blanket. He said. It was to keep me warm and to remind me of home. And that was the last time I saw him. Oh, damn. Oh, shit, that's messed up. 1994 Nigerian World Cup team. You know, I pledged I wouldn't take this down until I made the team myself. And I still intend to do that. The first bitch way I ever slept with a super bullet. <laughs> <laughs> that's heartfelt. Smile because it happened. <laughs> Is they smoke because it happened? Yeah. Fuck the haters. Mm. Damn straight. Yeah, yeah. My cat's collar, she was a faithful companion for 20 years. Oh no! Oh, she died. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Cindy Clawford. Oh, that's an epic name. Cindy Clawford. That's... The keys to my Lamborghini. Hey! What? what? Are you getting home? All right. Everybody go? <laughs> Dude, you couldn't find anything else to put in except for your, the keys to your Lamborghini. My mum gave him a... Her and my dad split up when I was just a, a sexy little baby. Oh, don't say sexy. Put it dying, it? Say... To make her proud. She doesn't even care if I'm any good. Just wants me to be happy. Be a good lad. Me old man started showing up, didn't I? You know, bragging to all his mates every time I scored the goal. Calling me soft. If I didn't dominate. Okay. So it explains his personality. I made a vow to be so tough that he could never call me soft again. We finally find out why he's a prick. I forget about making her proud. I don't think that she would be lately. Man, we got like a real moment from him. Yeah, from everyone. Yeah, that's true. Uh, lads, yeah, do you want to take this one? outside? Oh, it has to be in the treatment room, doesn't it? Well, you say we burn this crap. Maybe we should do this part outside. Oh, what Coach Beard said. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because literally, otherwise you're going to burn the stadium down. Ah, uh, the eagle has landed. Hey, fellas, we need to ask the spirits for a sign. Hmm? Hey! He's back. I brought a bottle of mezcal to throw into the curse fire. Uh, oh, no. That's going to turn into... That's going to explode. Crack that bastard open. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jamie's not wrong. Ghosts prefer empty bottles that we've all drunk. Is a team united. That's some strong stuff. Oh, we knew Danny's okay hours ago. In fact, it was my man Higgins' idea not to share that info with the boys until after the ceremony. Oh, uh, so I brought them together. Warmer over there by the fire. I'll respectfully pass. Oh, come on, Rebecca. Oh. What the hell? Did you just dump the rest of the bottle in there? Pulled a bit in there. How you doing? You got rid of Jamie? <gasps> Man what? City recalled him. We had two aces, Rebecca. I thought that was what you wanted. Yeah, well, you thought wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my tone there, okay? That was rude. Your biscuits. And I hope they're not as good as they usually are. Oh, but dang it, they're the best bench yet. I finally cracked the recipe. Oh, you should did that. Yeah, I know. You know. We were getting there. 
Football is life. I didn't think they'd get rid of him. Was... Yeah. And that's the end oh. of the episode. That was a piss take. I didn't think they'd... They finally... He's right. He finally got through to him. Yeah. He just... Finally got through to him. The team was sort of working sort of together. We had a real moment from Jamie. Um, it's weird because Rebecca has her moments where she feels like she's thawing and then she'll... Something will be in the I think news that, or something. Yeah, and then she'll just... revert back to the vindictive... Uh, hurting him. Kind yeah. Of, yeah. Hurting uh, Rupert. But... Yeah, it's good. I think, like I said, every episode is all about getting the team together, getting the team together. But there's something always, then, uh, something, something always, think, always pulling him back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ted's but, still feeling a bit like he's still got that he's, rage is bubbling from not being totally okay with the, the. I mean, I wouldn't even call it closure. He hasn't got closure yet. Which is why he's rambling. He spent most of the episode it. rambling. Yeah, he's still processing yeah, he's still it. Processing. I mean. And um, Rebecca hasn't made his job easier, and but they still have a, they have Jamie's replacement as a team, but they just, I suppose it works better now, because everyone... think, well, I think it's more, they finally got to know something about him, so they understand him, and then tomorrow he's got, it's just like, it well, I don't know, and get if it'll work into Rebecca's favor because she, kind, of, she was okay with Jamie being there because it worked against the team, and it wasn't gelling, um, yeah. Yeah, they got through to him, but probably not fully. But him being out of the team makes the team work better together, which is bad for Rebecca. Yeah, true. True. Unle I mean, we don't know how good this unless good this unless Man City did actually recall him, and it was nothing she could do, kind of thing. I think no. I think I think she probably said, "Yeah, you know what? We're going to bench him. It's fine," kind of thing. That's what it sounds like. It yeah. You know, yeah. we're not going to play him because we've got this new guy, so we're going to play him instead, mm. kind of thing. So. Yeah, that's probably what it is. But... Yeah, uh, great episode overall. It, they're, they're funny. Uh, to be fair, I, I was I'm surprised that they are actually <laughs> actually really funny. Yeah, it's jokes. Um, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of this episode uh, and our reaction to it? Um, but other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.